Hey guys, what's up? So, in today's video, I'm going to be going over pros and cons. Pros and cons? Um, of a cruise. So, this is just my personal opinion. Of course, everybody has their own, you know, opinion of cruising. So, excuse me, this is just my opinions. So, my pros of a cruise is it's a one time fee. Um, you throw in your gratuity, you pick your cruise, what you want to do. If you're going to do excursions, you're going to do, or you're not going to do excursions, whatever it is, you set your price and it's done. It's paid for. That's one pro. My second pro would be that there is unlimited food. Those of you that travel with kids, like me and my husband, we have two kids, so food is very expensive. Food is unlimited, so that's amazing. Have food all day long. Um, I'm gonna personally speak about um, Carnival because that's what we travel on or have cruised on. Um, I don't know how um, Royal Caribbean or Norwegian or the Disney Cruise, I don't know how they work as far as food, but on Carnival, um, their pizza place is 24 hours. Um, the deli, the deli section where you can get sandwiches and stuff, they close at 11. Some restaurants close at 6. Now, food. Yes, food is unlimited, but there is extra fans. Like, if you want to go fancy and go to, like, a steak restaurant or something, that's all extra. Like, you pay for that. I mean, but why? Why pay for it when you have the same stuff for free? They have steak. They have chunks of, I don't know what kind of steak, but steak right there that they can slice for you. And it's free. But it oh, they also have, like, of course, unlimited water, lemonade, and iced tea. Anything extra, you pay for. Beer, obviously, is not included. They have unlimited ice cream. Also a plus for kids. So Okay, another pro. Um, oops, sorry, I'm on my way to work, guys. And I'm, I'm always, like, right on time. But anyway, um, another pro would be, which this is my third one. So third pro, there is so much activity to do on the boat. They, they have about four pools, three or four pools. They have like three jacuzzis, maybe four jacuzzis. Um, there's plenty of shows. Every night there is something, or even during the day, they have like little parties on the boat. They have, um, oh my gosh, shows from starting from like seven o'clock, usually after dinner. So they have shows starting from like seven o'clock until up until 11. They have comedy shows for kids and adults. They do the kids ones around 7.30 and then they have a second one around 8.30. Every day, the, there's two comedians usually and every day their material is different, which is pretty cool because you're on the boat either three, five, seven or 11 days, whichever one you choose. Um, so that's great. The entertainment on a cruise ship is amazing. Pro number four. We did the Bahamas cruise, which you guys saw in my last video or two videos ago. Um, we did the cruise, the Bahamas cruise. We also did the Bahamas cruise last time. We like the shorter cruise. One, my husband gets claustrophobic very easy. Um, my kids get homesick, you know what I mean? So I'm not gonna go and pay for a five, seven, or 11 day cruise. And on day four, they're ready to go home, no. So we keep them short. Now, obviously, depending on where you choose to go, the Bahamas is pretty close. So the Bahamas is convenient. It's it's the one we usually choose. If we choose to do Mexico, I think that's the five-day cruise. Uh, I mean, maybe, maybe, you know, if they, this was their first one, so we did do a short one. But maybe if they, you know, say, okay, now we know it's experience, let's do a longer one, then we'll do Mexico next time. Who knows? Anyway, um, but once you get to the island, which we got to the Bahamas, you can choose if you want to go or stay on the boat or go get off the boat and go to the island. And then you're, oh, when you're off the boat, when you do tour the island, you get from, I think you get about eight hours, seven or eight hours, something like that. From 10 o'clock in the morning, you can get off the boat. So 10 o'clock in the morning, you get off the boat and you have to be back on the boat at least by five or 5.30. The first time we went, me and my husband went, we did get off the island. We did like the horse and carriage rides. We did some stuff, but I just... I have a fear of being out of the US. I don't know. It's just, it's scary to me. So I'm pretty sure there's a lot of you that can relate, but I don't know. It's just me. 
Um, so I already knew what to experience getting off the boat. I tr like I would have rather to stay on the boat and then this way also the boat's more empty because everybody's out on the island going to the beach and doing what they have to do. So now we actually have the pool to ourselves, food, you know, it's, it's a lot more empty. So the kids, we did get out this time and went to, as you saw, we did tour a little bit of the Bahamas. Um, but we did it for the kids so that they can experience it. They can see it for themselves. Um, so yeah, but I would choose, I would honestly rather just stay on the cruise line. So, which I think that's it. Cause once a year we like, once or twice, we would like to travel. So maybe we'll do a cruise in an island, a cruise in an island, you know, a year. So I have a con actually. So this is con number one, motion sickness. Now I don't suffer from motion sickness. Nobody in my family, well, that one with my husband and my kids, we don't, we're okay with motion and stuff. Lately, as I got older, like I love doing roller coasters, love roller coasters. But when I get off, I'm so lightheaded and dizzy and nauseous. I think my body's just like, enough, you can't handle this anymore. So I figured, you know, obviously on a cruise, motion doesn't bother me. And a lot of people are quick to be like, oh, you know, make sure you take the, I think it's Dremamine or something like that for nausea. Or they have the patches you can put behind your ear or they have the bracelets now, whatever they do. Our first cruise was fine, nothing. The second cruise, that we just went on had such high tide the boat was moving so bad people could not walk and this went on for a good six hours maybe and I felt so bad for the kids because I was like I promise this isn't how cruises are because I didn't want them thinking <clears throat> that all cruises are like this and they don't want to cruise again because a lot of people have motion sickness on their first cruise and will never go on again so thankfully this was just on our first day but it was really bad like people were getting sick vomiting places like it was just nasty um the motion was getting to me i was feeling like car sick i guess which was motion sick to seasick but um i dealt with it and i was speaking to one of the ladies that works on there and she was just saying make sure you eat like you're on a full stomach so um besides that i really have no cons like i absolutely love cruising like it's all expense paid why not why not they also do their dining night which um, some people can schedule when you're booking your cruise some people can schedule for six o'clock dining or eight o'clock dining It's just like fancy dining you could dress up with your ball like your ballroom gowns and stuff Which me and my husband again we did that the first cruise and it was like I don't know the same food they serve there They serve upstairs on the ninth deck the Lido deck everybody's favorite deck of course it's free food um, So it was like why sit here and wait to order our food when we can go buffet style, you know? So anyway, I just got to work. So I just wanted to give you a quick pros and cons of a cruise, my opinion. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe, please subscribe. Hit the notification button so you know when I'm posting. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.